How to add Lottie animations to your Flutter app by using the Lottie package, which works on Android, iOS and Flutter web. Simply go to lottiefiles.com and make sure that you are signed in. And now you can choose here a free Lottie animation file, so I take this one. Scroll a bit down and here you can copy then this Lottie animation URL and this only works if you are signed in on this website. After this, go inside of your Flutter project, inside of the build method, and here you create then this Lottie network widget, and inside of it, you supply then the URL that you have copied before. And with this, if you launch your app for the first time, the animation is playing automatically. Inside the Lottie widget, you also have a flag animate, where you can also pause your animation by supplying here the false, or if you put true inside, then it will simply play the animation. And to make this work, also go to your pub spec jumble file and here under your dependencies, you need to include then this Lottie package. Let's go back to lottiefiles.com and here you can also download this file and download it as lottie.json file. Next, you need to create here this assets folder in your Flutter project and here inside you paste then all the animation Lottie files inside. And by the way, you could also create your own animations in After Effects and then you can export it to this Lottie JSON file. And finally, you also need to go to your pub spec jumble file and here under this Flutter tag, you need to make sure that you put then here your assets folder inside that you have created before. After this, we can then load our Lottie animation file also from the assets folder from our local device instead of the network. Therefore, make sure that this pass that you put here inside is reflecting the pass that you have defined here. And with this, we have also loaded the animation from our assets folder. Next, we want to control our animation with the help of an animation controller. Therefore, I have created here an elevated button. And if we basically click on this button, then we call this show done dialog method, which shows a dialog. And inside of this dialog, I have added then another Lottie file. And this shows then this time here, this done animation. And now after our done animation has completed, then we want to hide our dialogue here again. And how you can do this is by simply putting inside of your Lottie animation a controller. Next, you want to create then this controller inside of your state and inside of the init state method, you want to initialize this animation controller. And you can also define here the seconds how long this animation should then play. And lastly, you also need to add here this vsync parameter and inside of your stateful widget, you put then the single ticker provider state mixin inside. And lastly, we also want to dispose then our animation controller again to clean everything up. Let's now also try it out with our attached animation controller. If I click on this button, you see we have here a blank screen and we have not our animation. And therefore, you also need to add here the onloaded property. And here inside, you can then call on this animation controller, the forward method, so that you say that it should start the animation. And finally, let's go back to our init state method. And here we want to control then our animation. So we add to our animation controller a status listener. And here you can then basically listen to when the animation has completed. And here inside, you can then decide what you want to do. So in my case, I call then this navigator pop method so that we hide this dialogue again after the animation has completed. Let's also try it out. I click on this button and you see the animation is playing. And after this, the dialogue will then hide again because we have called here this navigator pop method. If you then click for the second time on this button, the animation is not playing anymore because you also need to reset here this animation if it is completed. Make sure to click on hot restart and now you can open this dialogue as many times as you want and it will every time play then here this animation. Also, instead of defining here your own time for the animation, you can also take the animation duration from the Lottie file itself that you have downloaded. Therefore, simply go inside of this onloaded property and here you can get then the duration from this Lottie file and we simply put it then as our animation controller duration. And with this, it will simply take the animation duration time of this Lottie file so we don't need to define it on our own. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.